So today we are going on the war on two fronts. Um, so I'm going to present it. So we're going to look at um, comparing and contrasting the war on the Atlantic and the Pacific fronts and how these events and battles influence the decision to drop the atomic bomb. So the battle against Germany, uh, the UK with Churchill and Roosevelt in the US started an alliance. Uh, they decided to go after Hitler first and then focus on Japan because they saw Hitler as a bigger threat. So the Battle of the Atlantic started when Germany planned to prevent war supplies from getting to the UK. They did this by trying to um, blow up the ships. So the US and the UK created convoys to protect the goods, but they did not have enough ships for this um, because in seven months, Germany sunk 681 ships um, and then the U.S. switched to wartime production, so then they were trying to keep up with the number of ships that Germany was sinking. Um, Stalingrad is going to be a video linked for Nearpod um, in modules, so I'm not going to play it on here, but you're going to watch it. Battle of Stalingrad. Do that. Um, another thing in the Atlantic was the North African Front and the Italian Campaign. So Stalin was fighting the Germans on the Eastern Front. Um, he encouraged the U.S. and the U.K. to launch an attack on Hitler. So Hitler was also going to be starting a two-front war. Um, in 1940, also Britain and Italy battled for North Africa, which was controlled by Britain. Um, so here's a video of that, or not a video, a link, map of that. Um, and then Operation Torch called for an invasion of Morocco and Algeria, which is right here. Uh, the Allies eventually won, what it, but it was a very hard-fought war part. Um, the next is going to be D-Day, which will also be a Nearpod link in modules, because I'm not going to show it on here. Um, after these two, the Yalta Conference happens. It's a conference between Stalin, pictured here, Churchill pictured here, and FDR pictured in the middle. Um, they're what's known as the Big Three, and they discussed yet again the fate of Germany. So Hitler's surrender, um, we talked about him committing suicide, but they declared an unconditional surrender. Hitler committed suicide, I think, maybe a few days later. Um, then they're going to switch over to Japan. Um, so this is island hopping in the Pacific Theater. So allies go on the offensive. Um, the U.S. wanted the Solomon Islands back. That was taken away from us. Um, the fighting lasted six months, and the Japanese eventually abandoned the Solomon Islands. Um, it really wasn't a good island. They referred to it actually as hell. Um, and then the U.S. started the um, what's known as island hopping, um, air and sea and land, focusing on capturing other islands. So once they get a new island, they set that as a base to launch the next attack to get the next island. So they're hopping from one to the next. Um, Truman um, becomes president after FDR dies in his fourth term. Um, he hadn't been too involved in what was going on. Um, so what was happening up until then was there was pretty much a stalemate because um, Japan wasn't going to give up. They didn't see an end in sight, so they had to go big. Um, they contracted Robin, Robert Oppenheimer to create an atomic bomb. Um, so this is what was called the Manhattan Project. It was tested in New Mexico and it worked. Uh, Truman had to decide then if he was going to use the bomb. The Secretary of War thought the bomb would end the war and save American lives, and scientists disapproved of the use of the atomic bomb. Uh, Japan was given warning. Um, not of what they had, but they said to give up, but they refused. Um, and so we're going to look at a DBQ on should we have dropped the atomic bomb. Um, but that is all for the notes for today.